What's happening? It's your guy King David, TrapMonsterTrapMonsters.com. Here today we're going to be doing some music business 101. I'm going to take you step by step in how I go about selling my beats online and marketing and promoting the beats to get sold online. So let me take you step by step in my process and going about this. Let's go to the computer. All right, so the first step is you, uh, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you'll see my cook-up videos. And in those videos, I, I kind of produce tracks within the 10 to 15 minute range um, of time, because it don't take much and, and much time at all to create tracks for me. Um, so after making the beat, arranging it, and then mixing it, I automatically will go to beat stars. So after I'm done mixing, or whatnot. Then I'll go to Beat Stars, upload it, onto this track, and then normally I would just go in, select the track I'm looking for. I'm just going to do an example. Choose the track I want to uh, upload. I'll rename the beat because typically a lot of times. What I'm gonna do is when I save my session, I save it as the date I made it in. And um, and in Beat Stars, I'll actually name it a, a general name or whatever name I wanna do, uh, Fat Pig or something, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, however I'm feeling about the track. So once I name it here, rename it, then I'll um, put the tags in. I'll come down here and um, I would select uh, tag with uh, yes, they can download this this track right here with the tag in it, the tagged out version of it. And um, normally, I like to have them uh, either follow me on Twitter for a follow on Twitter or SoundCloud or on YouTube, uh, one of the three platforms, in order to get that track um, for free. So. Once I do all that and rename it, tag it, upload everything, the MP3 file, the stems and everything in which I use uh, Mediafire to do all my online uh, on, on the cloud storage stuff. So uh, get you a, uh, it's a, it's a good recommendation actually. So what you do is you get you a Mediafire account and um, they have storages on there for like, I'm paying like uh, maybe less than two, $2.50 a month for a thousand terabytes, you know what I'm saying? So get you, copy that and you can upload all your beats on there and just in case you drive or your computer drop out on you or you know, whatever may happen, somebody might steal your damn computer or whatever, whatever, well you got all your files and sessions and everything backed up in the cloud. So you can always receive and uh, retrieve them that way. So um, yeah, big big thing to, uh, to do is to back up your stuff on the online storage. Um, so once you do all that and you, uh, get it uploaded into the online storage what you do is you uh, get the url of the particular file and then plug it in into your uh stem folder right here which you'll take the url of that particular file that's in your online storage and uh and how you'll get to that is in going to your media fire or your dropbox or whatever whatever and you want to uh get the link to be able to share it and what you do is once you get that link to share it then you'll just plug it in right here hit save and then that way when somebody happened to buy the track outs or the uh the exclusives they'll have um the session files to be able to do that and then you'll be able to be fine from there make sure you put three tag uh tag uh words in right here because they're not going to allow you to post a beat without it being some kind of a tag so if it's a trap beat and if it's a, if it's a, a particular artist type of a beat or whatever, you might want to put that there. Or if it's a dark beat, you might want to put that there because people search for certain keywords. And uh, so when they're searching for certain style of beats or whatever, hopefully one of the keywords you plug in right here will be able to catch hold and they'll be able to get in contact, well, be able to hear your track based off the words you put in here as a keyword. So you'll hit save, you'll come out of that. Um, another thing is once the track comes up in here, you'll be able to uh, go to distribution. And in distribution, you can go and get your content ID. Now, in, in, the, in the terms of this, you can see you can't name it 
after any popular artist or anything like that. You can't put no letters or anything like that, or, or I mean, my bad, any numbers in there. So that's the reason why I changed the names to my tracks um, once I upload it to BeatStars because I want that content ID. And um, so what the content ID is, is basically they're going to be looking for any track that uh, of yours on YouTube, um, period, you know what I'm saying? That may be uploaded as a music video, whatever, and you can get paid from that because it's been monetized. It's actually your track, even though somebody may have leased it or whatnot. If they ain't got no exclusives, they can't they can't get paid monetized off of YouTube off your beat at the end of the day because you actually still own that beat. So um that's how that pretty much works, you know what I'm saying? So you'll get notified that hey such and so is using your instrumental, um, do, would you like to uh, get the monetization off of that? And you click yes or whatever, and um, you'll get you'll get the money and the revenue from off of their music video because they don't actually own that beat; they just leased it. So, um, pretty dope thing. So, I advise you really to get a BeatStars account, man, because you you won't lose um, going that route. And they do everything they can to make sure you get your tracks heard and sold. So um, yeah, B Stars is the shit. And actually, I'm gonna do a video on why I like B Stars too. So be looking out for that. Okay, so once I upload it into the content ID, I send it off to get reviewed. They'll come back and send it to YouTube after that, and then YouTube will automatically be scanning and, and B Stars will be looking for any of the music that you uh, sent to them, um, so you can get uh, revenue from all the other videos that may have your music instrumentals in it. So, pretty dope thing. Next, having you a beat site in 2017 is very, very important. You know what I'm saying? Definitely if you're an online producer and you want to sell tracks, you're making tracks, you want to get paid off your tracks, you've been putting time in, paying electricity bills, paying for equipment, all this and all that, you want to get paid for what you're doing. So, um, make sure you got a beat site, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, it's, that's a must. You can't be a producer in 2017 and beyond and not have a beat site, not unless you're going for strictly placements, strictly, you know what I'm saying, just getting straight placements with major artists or TV and film, you know what I'm saying, but it still wouldn't hurt none to have a beat site up to be able to, uh, to, to help out and put, you know, push out tracks to the local artists and up and coming underground artists. So having a, a beat site up would definitely be another stream of revenue. So, um, and that's not, that's a key thing really, just having multiple streams of revenue off of your music. So, you know, doing the TV and film placements, um, uh, getting placements with major artists, getting placements and, and, and leasing beats out to up and coming independent artists and, you know, underground artists and things like that is always good to have uh, multiple streams of uh, income coming in off your music. So, once you got that, as you can see now, my tracks are named right here and I have it categorized in my iPad. So. I may have named the track December the 8th, 2016. Well, once it goes to BeatStars, I'll, I'll put that in my iPad, 2000, well, uh, December the 8th or whatever, 2016. And then right beside that, I'll put a name that I'm gonna actually name the track for BeatStars, when it may be Cold Morning. So, but in my own setup, I know what it's actually, the beat is actually called. It's actually the date of how I made it. That's the actual genuine name. It's just BeatStars need a name for the track in order to get the content ID. So that's how my beat selling process set is uh, set up. So once um, you do that, and um, what you wanna do is you get this link right here, you know, and you wanna share it. And that link right there is very important. This short uh, URL link right here is, is very, very important because I'm gonna show you why you would need this link and you're going to need it for uh, two reasons actually so let me show you the first reason so if you've been paying attention to my channel like I said and you, you've been looking at uh, the videos my instrumental videos you'll see this card right here for free download now as you can see my beats right here have a free download uh, button on it and they can get it for free with the exchange of follow of YouTube um, SoundCloud or Twitter, you know what I'm saying, or their email, I think too. So, uh, but yeah, they can get it here. So once they click this button right here, and that button right there is very powerful because on YouTube, let me pause this. 
um, a lot of uh, people are on mobile phones. And so when with them being on mobile phones, they don't see this card right here, this option or the description. A lot of times they don't check out the description to see that they can uh, purchase the beat. And I actually have the link right here too. And this is good for the people who are actually on computers. They'll see this link right here and they'll know they'll be able to go right here to get a hold of this track if they want to lease it or whatnot or buy exclusives for it. Um, so what they're gonna do is once they own their phone or iPad or whatever, this pops up right here, this card right here. And I'm gonna show you how to get this on your YouTube videos as well too today. So like I said, I'm gonna take you step by step, straight game. So um, what you're gonna do is you, you're gonna go into, you have to make a Google AdWord account and make a, a campaign. And um, I'm gonna go to my Google AdWords. So hold on just a second. But this is what you want at the end of the day. So my next step, I'm gonna show you what to do with that short URL you get from BeatStars, how you get this all set up. So hold tight, let me go to uh, my Google AdWord. All right, so now I'm here in my um, Google AdWord account. I'm gonna block out some of the most important information. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, what, I'm gonna, what I wanna do is actually make a video campaign key thing make sure you select video campaign and you're going to name it the name of the track that you um the name of the actual beat how you named it like i said i named mine by date but how, if you name yours straight out whatever name then that's fine too i just name mine by date so then that way i know i'm not ever renaming the beat later on down the years or whatever i end up naming another beat the same dang old name and you know, it's just a big old mess or whatnot. So, um, so that's the reason why I named it the name of uh, the date in the year and month. So, of course, because it'll never be another December 8th, 2016 again, once I pass that date. So that's the reason why I do it. So um, I actually just name it the name of the day, uh, which is the track that I name it by. And then um, right here, you want to put $1. Straight out, just, just put $1 right there. And, uh, so I'm gonna do an example, actually. Let me just do 12, I'm gonna do 115, 116. Let's just do it. Just be doing that, let's see. And then everything else right here looks good. So all thing like I can see you have to do is just put the one dollar there per day. Now mind you, you're not gonna be paying for anything because you're gonna pause the um, the campaign to keep it from even um, being published out live and uh, taking effect to start uh, advertising. And from here, you still wanna name it the same thing, 12, 15, 16, I believe I was naming it. And then you take, um, this is this right here is like, like I said, when you're doing the YouTube videos, which you're gonna need to put up YouTube videos as well to, uh, to advertise and market if you're doing that route, you know, instrumental videos or whatnot. What you do is, once you upload your video onto YouTube, you want to go to um, the, the the video itself, and at the top of the video, you'll click right here. The URL, copy that, and then paste it in right here. So, um, let me see. And what I mean by that is, you see how I got this particular video right here up and playing, and then I'm gonna click on this URL right here, copy it. This is all demo right here. I'm not going to go through and actually do the whole step-by-step -step thing. I am, but not because I'm going to remove it off of here because it's not done right at all. Um, so then I'm going to take that URL, plug it in right here, and there's the video right there. And then I want to click on in stream ad, which will it'll pop up right here. And that's why you see this uh, visit uh, display URL right here. Then what you do here is then you plug in your website URL. So of course it'd be trapmonster.com. And then right here, uh, hold on, T and T, but then right here I need to put www. Just like that. All right, so now you got that in there. You'll come down, you'll name this ad. 12, 15, 16, for example, 
and uh, we're going to do uh, a dollar right here. Actually, you know what? You ain't got to do a dollar right here. You can just do 0 0.01, one cent. That's how much you want to do it for, one cent. So you come here, and in here, you'll just pause it. Just like that. It'll keep it from running. 12, 15, 16. You just straight pause it. Then you'll click on all campaigns. You go to campaign, you click on campaign, you come down to where you see 12, 15, 16, which is right here. And you see where you see all these right here have the uh, pause sign on it. You just come right here and just pause it again, right there, bam. Now you ain't gotta worry about paying for that campaign, a dollar a day, any of that. Now you can if you want to, actually. You can if you wanna promote your tracks or whatever, you want YouTube, and uh, Google to push your stuff out here like that, then yeah, you can pay however much you want to set your budget for per day of advertising your track or whatever you're trying to sell, commercial, whatever, product, whatever. You can't actually go through on it. But in this case, I'm not doing it like that. So then I'll go right here and um, go straight to videos. Let me see here. All right, so. What you do is, once you got the video uploaded in, you pause the campaign or whatnot, you'll type in whatever you wanna type in right here as your header. Like for me, you see I had free download because that's what it is, it'd be a free download. Um, but it'd be the tagged out version of that beat that they'll be receiving. The URL of your website right here. And then that short code that I told you about in beat stores, how you, uh, you uh, plug that in right here. And if you have any artwork, your logo, whatever, um, you plug it in right here and then you'll hit save. And that will actually lead to you getting to this point right here where you'll have this card right here. And then in mobile, in the mobile setup, they'll be able to click this. They'll see this on their iPhones or Android phones or tablets or whatever. And they'll be able to click this link right here and go directly to this page right here. right here and it goes straight to this page and they'll be able to purchase and actually when they click that link it'll pull this up and it'll play exactly what they were looking at right here you know what i'm saying so whatever beat they were listening to instrumental on youtube once they click this link right here you'll have it set up to to it automatically go straight to beatstar and it'll play that same track right here and then they can purchase it add it to the cart get the free download do whatever they want from there you know what I'm saying? And that increases your sales, mobile sales. You know what I'm saying? If definitely if you're uploading it onto YouTube or whatnot, you wanna have it set up in that kind of way. But also, you wanna have that same code for your SoundCloud too. I just started my SoundCloud back up. I've been having this account for a few years and uh, I never put any instrumentals up on it and I just started putting stuff up on here um, like a, a month and a half ago. And um, so I'm in the process of starting promoting it, upload more beats on it and stuff like that. But when you upload your tracks, let me go to edit for this particular beat right here, same beat. What you wanna do is same thing. You wanna plug in, you know, the genre that it's in, same thing that you did the beat stores or whatever beat, uh, plat beat store platform you're with. Um, you wanna uh, title it by what genre you feel like the beat is in. Um, your tags you want to use for it or whatnot and then um, the short code right here but then also you want to plug in the trap mod or your record your your label name and then that short code is right here so then that's right there will prompt you to be able to have a buy button on your soundcloud so if somebody's interested in hearing your stuff and want to buy it right then and there they ain't got to go to your website. They can click the buy now button on your SoundCloud and uh, it'll pull up, same thing. So I'll click this and it's gonna pull the track up the same way it did on YouTube. So that's that's pretty much game right there, man. You know what I'm saying? This you got King David, TrapMonster, TrapMonster.com. I'm out, peace.